An apple a day keeps the doctor away. Doctor, can you give me some suggestions on how to stay healthy? Well, sure. I think you need to make sure that you eat the right foods. Oh, what are the right foods to eat? Have you ever heard the saying, an apple a day keeps the doctor away? Yes, I have heard it. What does it mean? It means that eating nutritious food will make you healthier, right? Yes, and as a result, you won't need to go to the doctor very often. Oh, I see your point. Yes, you should eat more fresh fruits and vegetables. Also, you can add whole grains and protein. Okay, I got it. What should I avoid? You need to avoid high fatty foods. Sure, I guess you are right. I will change my eating habits. You can do it. Thank you. Dream job. What is your dream job? I want to have my own clothing store. Why is it your dream job? Because I love fashion. I want to share my style with everyone. I also want to have my own personal brand. Sounds great. What about you, Ethan? What is your dream job? My dream job is to be the general manager of a five-star hotel. Such an ambitious goal. Why do you want that job? Because I love working in the hotel industry. What can you do when your dream job comes true? If I were the general manager, I could help improve the hotel in many ways. I think I can give people special memories and help them enjoy their lives. Great. Hope our dreams all come true. Fake news. Have you seen the news about an actress who cursed and bullied his co-star? Yeah, and I already looked into it. I was very surprised when I heard that news. So far, she has always kept a bright and cheerful image. To be honest, when I saw that information, I was a bit disappointed with her. Are you her fan? Not really, but I quite like her. Well, as I know, that was fake. Really? But there was a video clip showing the scene she yelled at her partner. That video has been cropped. It's fake. Did you research it? Yep, I even saw the new post of the actor working with her on Instagram. Oh, I'm so glad it's not true. Now, if you see the news, you should check it carefully first. It may be true, maybe not. Time management. Bob, you are often late. This is your third time in a week. I'm sorry. I need a reason. I take a bus to school. My house is quite far, so it is hard for me to be on time. If that's the problem, then you should get up early so you won't be late. I know, but I stay up quite late. I can't wake up early in the morning. Why do you sleep so late? Do you watch TV or play video games late at night? No. Every day when my work finishes, it is already late at night. If this is the reason, then you lack time management skills. Can you please help me with it? First, you should give priority to your important work. Then you can make a timetable. What is it for? To adjust your time for each task, so you can manage your time better. Okay, I get it. I promise I won't be late for school anymore. Good, now you can go. Thank you for your advice today. No problem. You can come to me anytime if you need my help.
You had me at hello. Do you believe the sentence, you had me at hello? Yes, it is like love at first sight. I think it does exist. Me too. That's how I felt when I first met you. What do you mean? When I saw you for the first time, I thought you were the girl that I want to marry. The more I get to know you, the more my feelings for you grow stronger. What do you think? Do you want to be my girlfriend? I'm so surprised to hear you said that. Honestly, I only see you as a friend. I'm sorry. I can't accept your love. That's okay. I will not give up. I believe one day I will make you change your mind. Club Day This Sunday, our school has a club day. Are you participating? Of course. How about you? I'm still thinking. What else are you thinking? Don't you want to join the clubs? I haven't decided yet. I want to focus more on my studies. Focusing on studying is good, but you should also join other activities. It will help you have more experience and skills. Yes, and it also helps you expand your relationships. These will be very helpful in finding a job in the future. You guys have a point. Okay, I'll go. That's good. There will be a lot of clubs recruiting new members on that day. This is a great opportunity. Okay, I got it. I will participate on time. Local food. How was your trip to Bali? Great, beautiful scene and delicious food. I stayed at a resort. At first, I was totally worried about the food there. Then, to my surprise, I found a beautiful restaurant. How was it? It was awesome Indian food. Everything that you can get in India was all there on the menu. Wow. How was the local food? The spices and textures all mixed together were amazing. I think I will never forget that taste. Sounds so interesting. When I go there, I can't wait to try the food. Yes, I will send you the address of the places I went. Thank you. I will see that. Recycle. Hi, can you do me a favor? What do you need? Where can I dump my trash bags? Oh, you can put them in the parking lot dumpster. Where is it? It is near the parking spaces, over there. Oh, I see. When is trash day? Trash day is Friday. Do they sort our recyclables, or do we do it? We need to take out our recyclables. Do we need to put our recyclables in a separate bin? Yes, you take all your recyclables to the blue bin downstairs. Okay, I got it. Thank you for your help. You are welcome. A gap year. Is today your last day at work? Yes. We will miss you very much. Me too. I will miss you guys a lot. Thank you for all the support. You are welcome. Remember to keep in touch. Sure. Have you found another job yet? Not yet. I plan to have a gap year. I want to rest and do the things I love. Wow, I really admire you. I also want to take some time off. My work is so stressful. When there is proper time, you can do the same as me. We can only live once. Enjoy it while you're young. You're right. 
I will save money and take a gap year next year. Go for it. Don't forget to meet up when we have time. Sure, no problem. Rural area. Can I ask you a question? Sure, what is it? I want to participate in the Olympic competition, but I'm living in a rural area. So I don't know a thing about when and where Olympiads happen. Can you help me? The information about the schedule of the Olympiads is available on the internet. But that source is a little hard for you. Did your teacher not inform you? I don't know. I didn't hear them say anything. Commonly, the teacher would inform whenever the Olympiads were near. Is that so? Okay, I will ask the teacher for more information. You should also ask them about the preparation. The Olympiads have their own rules. You should research carefully before participating. I got it. Thank you for your help. How far? How far is it to the next town? I think it's about 30 miles from here. Oh, wow. That's quite the distance. Do you know how long it takes to get there by car? It usually takes around 45 minutes, depending on traffic. That's not too bad. I was worried it would be a longer journey. Is there anything interesting to see along the way? Well, there's a beautiful lake just halfway through the drive. Also, there are some scenic views and a charming small village near the town. It's definitely worth a visit. Sounds lovely. I will make sure to enjoy the journey as much as the destination then. I have no time. Hey, how's it going? I'm so overwhelmed. I have no time for anything. Oh no, what's been keeping you so busy? Well, my work has been crazy lately, and I have so many personal tasks, too. That sounds really tough. Have you tried prioritizing your tasks? I have, but it feels like there's just not enough hours in the day. Maybe you could delegate some tasks or ask for help. I've thought about it, but I'm not sure where to start. Well, no matter what, remember to take breaks and take care of yourself, too. You are right. I need to find a balance. Thanks for listening. Anytime. I'm here for you. Number three. What's on your mind? Hey, what's on your mind? Oh, I've been thinking a lot about my career lately. I feel like I'm stuck and need a change. Oh, I see. What kind of change are you looking for? I'm not exactly sure yet, but I want something more fulfilling and challenging. Maybe a new job or even a career switch. Have you considered any specific fields or industries? I've been thinking about starting my own business, but I'm still weighing the pros and cons. The important thing before you start anything is to identify your goals and your true passion. You are right. I will think about it. Definitely. Have you seen the new movie that just came out? Definitely. I watched it last night. It was amazing. Really? I've been hearing a lot of reviews about it. What did you like about it? Well, the storyline was attractive, and the special effects were mind-blowing. I think you should watch it. That's great to hear. I was hesitant, but now I'm definitely going to give it a try. You won't be disappointed, trust me. Definitely worth your time. Let me know what you think after you watch it. Absolutely, I will do that. Thanks for the recommendation. Number five. I can't say for sure. Hey, 
Have you noticed anything strange about our friend Anita lately? Yeah, I have been hearing some things. I can't say for sure, but it seems like Anita might not be as honest as we thought. Really? I always thought Anita was a good friend. What made you say that? Well, I have overheard Anita talking behind your back, saying things that aren't very nice. It's disappointing, to be honest. Wow, I had no idea. It's hard to believe someone we trust would do that. Yeah, I was quite shocked when I heard that. Me too. Thanks for letting me know, Victoria. No way. Did you hear that Lily was pregnant? No way. She's only 17 years old, right? Yeah, I couldn't believe it when I found out. It's such a young age to start a family. I wonder how she's going to handle it. Yes, being a parent requires a lot of responsibility and maturity. Absolutely. It's going to be challenging for her to balance school, personal life, and raising a child. Right. I hope she has someone to help her through this. She needs to have guidance there. Definitely. Let's hope she can overcome the obstacles and provide a loving environment for her child. Got a minute? Mom, do you have a minute? Sure, what's up? I wanted to talk to you about something important. Of course, go ahead. Well, I've been feeling overwhelmed lately with work and personal stuff. I just need someone to talk to. I'm here for you, sweetie. Take your time and let it all out. Thank you. I just need some advice on how to manage everything better. I understand. Let's think of some strategies together and find a way to make things more manageable for you. That would be great. Thank you, Mom. I appreciate your support. Anytime, remember, I'm always here for you. We will figure it out together. So we've met again. So we've met again. It's quite a coincidence, isn't it? Yes, it is. It's funny how we keep running into each other twice a day. I guess it's a small world after all. What are the odds? I know, right? It's like fate wants us to cross paths. Maybe we should start expecting these encounters. Perhaps we should. It's always nice to see a familiar face. So, how has your day been so far? Pretty good, thanks. How about you? Can't complain. Just another day in the hustle and bustle. But meeting you again definitely made it more interesting. What a relief. Oh my goodness, did you hear about the accident? It was so scary. Yes, I did. I was very worried, but thankfully, she's okay. What a relief. Accidents can be so unpredictable and dangerous. Absolutely. It's a reminder of how fragile life can be. I'm just glad she's safe and sound. Me too. It's such a relief to know that she didn't suffer any serious injuries. Definitely. I hope she takes some time to recover and heal both physically and emotionally. I want to visit her tomorrow. Do you want to go with me? Absolutely. I want to make sure she's okay. Okay, let's go together. That's a lie. Have you heard the rumors about John? What rumors? Well, I heard that he was cheating on you. That's a lie. I can't believe you would say that. I'm just telling you what I heard. It's better to know the truth. I trust John. He is not that person. And I won't let baseless rumors ruin our relationship. I understand. But sometimes it's important to confront the truth, even if it's painful. I appreciate your concern. But until I have concrete evidence, I won't let doubt cloud my judgment. Okay, sorry to make you upset. You can ask him what happened. Okay, thanks. 
I know what I should do. See you. Hey, Jenny. Don't forget, we will hang out on Saturday night. Sure, no problem. Wait, can I know the time and location again? I will pick you up at 7 p.m. After that, we will go to Sarah's house and pick her up. Then I will drive the three of us to the restaurant we have already chosen. Oh, the barbecue restaurant, right? That's right. So I just need to stay at home and wait for you, right? Exactly. Don't forget to get ready before 7 p.m. Got it. See you then. See you. See you next time. Thank you for inviting me to this amazing party. It's my first time attending such a big and formal party. I got to meet many successful businessmen. You're welcome. I'm glad that you enjoyed the party. I bet you expanded your network a lot. Exactly. I hope that I can meet you and other people next time. Yes, why not? If there's any event like this, I will tell you. Thank you so much, Mr. Bean. See you next time. Let's plan to meet up soon. So do I. OMG, it's so hot. I cannot walk anymore. Do you want to go inside the supermarket now? Why? I don't need to buy anything. Just wandering around is okay. At least it has an air conditioner. Oh, you're right. Okay, let's go. Wow, look at the bakery over there. It's so yummy. I want to eat all of them. I think I will try the chocolate cake. So will I. Wait. We cannot stay in the supermarket forever. We still have to walk home. Should we buy some ice cream and eat it on the way home instead? That's a good idea. Let's forget the cake for a moment and buy ice cream now. Stay calm. Oh my god, I lost both my house key and my car key. I can't find them anywhere. Did you check your bag? I already checked and I saw nothing. How about your pockets? Nothing in there. I have nowhere to stay tonight. What should I do? Just try to stay calm, okay? Have you checked your wallet? I never put keys in my wallet. Just check it. Wait, I think I found them. They are actually in the wallet. Gosh, told ya. Next time, just try to stay calm and check everything carefully. Thank you. Be careful. Woohoo! Tracy, can you feel how fresh and cool the wind is? Andy, can you slow down? You are driving too fast. Don't worry, there aren't any cars there. Stop it! Look! There's a car right next to us. Please be careful, I'm begging you. Sorry, I'll slow down now. You are so boring, Tracy. We have to drive faster so that we can feel the wind. Andy, look on the right side. What's wrong? Do you see the car accident? Oh, no. 
If you kept driving fast, we would also be like them. I'm sorry. I will slow down now. Be quiet. Oh, the kids are so noisy. Can't they just be quiet for a moment? Hey, be quiet. In your dreams. Don't try to talk with them. I tried several times, but they didn't listen to me. Should we move our location? Where do you want to go? A coffee shop, I guess. Will the people in the coffee shop be more quiet than the kids? At least they will be more polite, and they won't yell like kids. Cool, let's go. Cheer up. Hello, John. You look sad. What's the matter? I failed the math exam. I didn't try my best in doing it. I'm so sorry to hear that. It's okay. I just want to share it. But it's over now, so cheer up, my friend. If you need any help, I'm always here with you. What should I do now? Do you want to walk along the beach? Walk along the beach? Yeah, I think that nature will make you feel much better. Whenever I have problems, I always go to the beach. Okay, let me try to do so. Wow, the sound of the waves is somehow... Beautiful, right? Yes, I couldn't find any adjective to describe it. But thank you so much for taking me there. I'm glad that you feel much better. Come on. Hey, David. Want to go to play football with us this Sunday? No, I have to do homework. Come on. You always turn me down whenever I invite you to do something. I'm really busy. What if I said I wanted to study with you instead? The answer is still no. But why? I want to study alone, sorry. You're such a nerd. Why don't you just go outside and play with us for one time? What's the benefit of playing football? It's a good sport. You will be more healthy. Hmm, really? Yeah, playing sports also improves your concentration. You will study better after playing football. Mm -hmm. All right, I will trust you this time. So you will come, right? Hooray! Don't be ridiculous. Hey, Lucy, can I ask you something? Sure, I'll go ahead. Are you and Andy dating? What? No way. That's ridiculous. Really? But I saw you guys holding hands with each other yesterday. What? You must be mistaken. Where did you see us together? At the Green Park, I guess. I was going for a walk with my dog, and I saw you guys sitting on the bench. After, I saw... Stop, stop it. Okay, I will explain everything. Okay, so is it true that you guys are dating? Keep your volume down. We haven't told anyone yet. Why do you have to hide? We are not ready to tell everybody. Can you keep it a secret for us until we're ready? Sure, don't worry. Thank you so much. Don't be so childish. Tom? Tom, are you in your room? Yes, Mom. Can you help me pick up the clothes? If I pick up the clothes for you, will you give me money? 
you are 22 years old now, Tom. You can make money by yourself. Can you give me some money if I help you pick up the clothes? Don't act like a child. Haha, <laughs> I'm kidding. Can you wait for a little bit, Mom? Hurry up. The storm is coming. I'm here. I'm here. I always knew he was a backstabber. Oh my god, do you know what happened? What's wrong? Ivan was fired 15 minutes ago. No way. How? The CEO likes him. Ivan has his full faith. He leaked the top secret file of our company to one of our rivals. He got thousands of dollars from doing this dirty work? <laughs> oh my god! Such an ungrateful person. He got a lot of help from us. I always knew he was a backstabber. From the very beginning. How do people find out about this? The manager saw his mailbox by accident. And Ivan got caught. I'm speechless. I'm shocked and really disappointed in him. The Last Straw Oh, no! It happens again! What's wrong? Look! There's a coffee stain on my dress. This is my favorite one. Is it the dress that Clara borrowed you last Wednesday? It is. She must have spilled coffee on the dress. And this is not the first time she did this. Not the first time? What do you mean? She often borrows my clothes. And every time she returns them to me, it's not the same anymore. There's always a rip stain or she even lost a few items. I can't believe this. This is so irresponsible. You should tell her and stop letting her borrow your stuff. I know. It's my favorite dress. This is the last straw. I have had enough. I will never give her anything. Do you have tours of the building? Hello. I would like to book a package to Paris. Sure. When are you going to travel? And for how long? Next week. I think I'm going to stay there for at least three days. We have options for you here. Each of them includes the flight, food, and accommodation, and the cost also. Well, about this package here. It says I can go to these places in Paris, like the Seine River, Eiffel Tower, or Louvre Museum. That's right. Visitors can stay in each place at least 30 minutes before going to the next destination. I see. I love the Louvre Museum. Do you have tours of the building? Or I can go around the museum by myself. I'm afraid that we don't provide such tours. My nose turns red when I'm cold. It's freezing outside. Are you okay, Eva? Your nose is red. Yeah, I'm fine. My nose turns red when I'm cold. It happens a lot. I think you should put on more clothes. Look at me. Every time it gets chilly, I get bundled up. You're right but I feel a bit uncomfortable with heavy clothes. This jacket, for example. It's massive. I think you can wear two sweaters instead. Several layers of thin clothes keep you warmer. Is that so? Um, I guess it's better. I tried and it works. By the way, it'll snow heavily tomorrow. The weather is getting colder and colder. His stomach is like a washboard.
Oh, I just saw Enzo from the gym. He's such a gym rat. I mean, he hits the gym like five times a week. I know, right? That explains his muscular body. I swear to God, his stomach is like a washboard. You're telling me. He also wants to become a PT, though. For real? How do you know? I heard him talking to the manager at the gym this morning. I think he can make the best PT. You're right. He's super health conscious. And I believe he can inspire people to work out. Totally. To incorporate a little exercise into your diet. Good afternoon, doctor. How's the test results? Well, everything seems normal. Your test results are within the normal range. Gosh, I'm glad to hear this. There's only one problem, which is about your weight. Your BMI shows that you're a bit overweight. I see. So I need to work on this, right? What do you recommend for me to lose weight? Well, diet is key. And it's also important to incorporate a little exercise into your diet. I'll try to maintain a healthy lifestyle. That's good. You can start off with something easy first. Sports like swimming or jogging can be a great choice. Fit as a fiddle. Good morning, Nick. It's great that you can go back to work again. Yeah, I'm happy to be back here also. How are you today? You get well already? I do. Fit as a fiddle. I took medicine and it worked. That's good to hear. We were so worried about you these days. Thanks for being so kind. It was so nice that everyone visited me at the hospital. It's nothing. We really care about you. I'm relieved when the surgery went well. Yeah, such a blessing. I feel so thankful for everything. By the way, there are a few things which happen when you're off. You should be ready and get informed as well. Take your time. I'm so frustrated. You're sweating a lot, Aaron. Gosh, it's so crazy. What happened? This morning, I went to work like usual. But I couldn't get my car out of the parking lot. Why so? There was another car blocking my way out. And I don't know whose car it is. I'm so frustrated. I'm sorry to hear that. So how did you manage to come to work? Well, I gotta catch a taxi to get here. But how are you this late to work? I mean, the taxi is quite fast, isn't it? It's supposed to be quick, but the traffic was terrible. To make the matter worse, the driver made a wrong turn. And we got lost. It took me nearly two hours. I bet you get hit on a lot. Hello, are you Anna? Yes, I am. Oh, you're Iris, right? We're in the same math class. That's right. You have a good memory. Well, I'm pretty good with faces then. And you're really pretty. Thanks so much. You always look gorgeous, though. I bet you get hit on a lot. Oh, not really. I only focus on my studies. I want to be a lawyer. Wow, that's amazing. You will make an excellent lawyer then. I mean, you perform so well in class. Thanks so much. Trying my best to make it then. If you're okay, can you tutor me sometimes? Math is not really my thing. Oh, of course, I'll be happy to do that.
It takes two to tango. Hey, Jen. I need to talk to you in one sec about the mini project in biology class. All right, go ahead. When's the due date for the project, by the way? Well, we got to finish in the next two weeks. Okay. How's you doing so far? I collected all the data and put them into graphs. I sent you through email. Yeah, the data is quite good, I believe. What I'm worried about is the survey. We lack data for that. I see. I think we should carry out research then. I agree. Let's try our best for this project. It takes two to tango. The project can't be completed without effort from both of us. Absolutely. I'll pick you up in front of your hotel. I can't believe you're actually here in the city. How long are you staying? Just for the weekend. There's something important I need to deal with. Do you need any help? I can guide you around or give you a ride. Thanks, Anna. Actually, I was hoping to meet you tomorrow. Can we do that? Of course. What time? How about 2 p.m.? That's okay. I'll pick you up in front of your hotel. Great. Thank you. But Jake, why the sudden visit? You sound very nervous. It's something from our past, Anna. I think it's time we talked about it. Okay. I'm a little nervous, but let's meet. I hope we can resolve whatever this is. Can you come over now? Emma. Why haven't you been answering my calls? I'm so sorry, James. It's just been a really rough day. What happened? Is everything okay? I'd rather talk in person. Can you come over now? Yes, of course. Just hang on. I'll be there in a few minutes. James. I'm so sorry you had to come in this rain. It's all right, Emma. I just want to make sure you're okay. What's going on? I just felt really overwhelmed with everything happening lately. Remember, you're not alone in this. We'll get through whatever it is together. Thank you, James. It's good that you are here. Don't mention it. I'll be here for you. Now tell me, what's wrong? It's been a rough week. That television is both big and expensive. Liam, look at that TV. It's enormous. Yeah, but have you seen the price tag? That television is both big and expensive. Maybe we can save up and buy it next year. It would be perfect for our new place. I know it looks tempting, but we have other priorities right now. Like furniture for the entire apartment. But imagine watching our favorite movies on that screen. It's a dream for sure, but let's be practical. We need to budget wisely. All right, all right, you win. Let's revisit the idea later. Trust me, when the time is right, we'll get the best TV out there. He's not the problem. I am. You know, Mike's been talking about you. What did he say? Is he still mad at me? He's just confused. He doesn't understand why you've been avoiding him. Emily, I... I don't know how to say this. He's not the problem. I am. What do you mean? There's something I haven't told you or Mike. I've been offered a job abroad and I'm thinking of taking it. But why haven't you told Mike? 
Wouldn't he want to go with you? That's just it. I'm not sure if I want him to come with me. I think... I think I need some space. Sarah, you need to talk to him. He deserves to know. He is worried about you. It's pouring out there. I almost didn't see you there. Just needed a quiet moment. Everyone's been looking for you, especially John. John? Why? He is worried about you. I don't want to be anyone's concern. Sometimes it's okay to let others care about you. You don't understand. I've made so many mistakes. We all make mistakes, Anna, but that doesn't define who we are. I feel so trapped, like I can't breathe. Talk to John. Let him in. He really cares about you. Maybe I will. I just need some time. Take your time. And remember, you're not alone in this. They're as different as night and day. I can't believe you still have that old photo of Sam. Sam and I go way back. But look at this photo of Tina. Oh, I've met Tina a few times. She seems different from Sam. They're as different as night and day. How so? Sam's spontaneous and full of energy. Tina is more calm and thoughtful. It sounds like you appreciate the uniqueness of each friendship. I do. Each brings something different to my life. It's good to have variety. Life would be boring otherwise. True. I cherish both friendships, even if they're polar opposites. It's the differences that make relationships richer. I couldn't agree more. They don't take care of that dog. Poor thing. That's the Thompson's dog, isn't it? Yes, that's Max. He's always wandering around the neighborhood on his own. They don't take care of that dog. I've heard some neighbors talk about it. It's really concerning. We saw him digging through trash the other day. He must be starving. That's heartbreaking. Why would they get a dog if they can't take care of it? Maybe they didn't realize their responsibility, but that's no excuse. Do you think we should do something? I thought about it. Maybe we can talk to them, or if necessary, report it. It's not an easy situation, but we can't just stand by. For Max's sake, we have to take action. What's your favorite game to play? What's your favorite game to play? Chess. Always has been. Why? Just trying to make small talk. We've been silent for too long. Life's not always about fun and games, Olivia. I know, Jack. I just thought maybe we could use a distraction right now. You trying to distract me from the fact that we haven't spoken in weeks? It's not like that. I just want us to reconnect, Jack. Board games won't fix our issues, Olivia. I know, I just miss us. We'll figure things out, all right? Just give it time. I hope so. I need to clean my room. Ethan, were you in my room? I was just looking for the old family album. Didn't mean to pry. You could have asked. I know I should have. I'm sorry. But, Anna, your room is a mess. I know. I need to clean my room. It's just, every time I see it like that, I worry about you. I've just been going through a lot lately, okay? 
I'll sort it out. Is there something you want to talk about? Not now, Ethan. I appreciate your concern, but I need some space. Okay. Just know that I'm here for you whenever you're ready. Thanks, Ethan. This room is just about big enough. I can't believe this is our new home. It's not much, but it's what we could afford. It's cozy. This room is just about big enough for both of us. We'll make it work. But, well, what about our stuff? And what if friends come over? We'll have to downsize, and if friends come, they'll understand our situation. I just wish things didn't have to change so much. I know, sweetheart, but sometimes life throws challenges at us. We'll adapt. I just miss the old house and dad. We both do, but we have each other, and that's what matters most. I love you, Mom. Let's make this place our new beginning. I love you, too. Together, we can do anything. That's the end of the video. Thank you for watching. Remember to practice English every day to improve your skills. Watch the video at least three times a week and repeat daily conversations to improve your listening and speaking skills fast. Try to mimic the intonation and pronunciation in the video to enhance your speaking fluency and pronunciation. Don't forget to like, share, and comment on my video. Please subscribe to the Learn English with Jessica channel to watch more helpful videos.